I saw something insane on Reddit the other day. An actual competent Mussolini. Funnily enough, we don't need to play as Italy to have a competent Mussolini. No, in order to have a competent Mussolini, you need to play Malta for some reason. Look at him. He's right here. First off, we do need to get independence because we are currently a puppet of the filthy filthy German. Let's fix that, eh? And I just noticed we also have a zero factory, so this is definitely gonna go incredibly well. The only thing we have is one dude. Oh, and we get a civilian and incredible. We have one civilian factory now. We still can't do anything with it, but thank you, I think. Now we just wait for Black Monday. Oh, and there it is. We got the opportunity of a lifetime. We will get freedom, god damn it. When here we can declare independence. Perfect. That didn't take too long, actually, huh? After that, obviously we have to become socialist. Oh, and in here we also get weekly manpower. It would be nice if we also could get some guns. Oh, we lost one of our dudes, sadly, because we're no longer, I don't know, part of the faction. That's okay. We can have a quiet network in here and maybe use this guy to get a network on uh, two Sicilies as well, because we will need to take over Italy ourselves. Yeah, begin to organize elections. There we go. Let's start fixing our language questions because we are speaking Maltese technically. Now we got to decide who, do we want to go with Italy or there we go. Radical socialism. That's what I'm going to go for because we need Mussolini. Obviously, he's a socialist in this game. Here we go. Radical socialist. Let's go. Dominic Mintoff. Uh, that's not really who I'm looking for. Oh, no. Italy fell. The socialist Italians at least fell. I'm hoping that that means that I can get myself Mussolini. Get the artillery barrage, dude. So I can start getting army experience. The sooner I get it, the better. Maintain their hold. Yeah, because it gets me a nice little political uh, spirit or national spirit. Why not? I'll send a massive amount of guns. All the guns that I have to Patagonia, which is pretty much zero, including the zero manpower that I have to spare. So hopefully they enjoy it. And we will, of course, reform the party completely into a socialist utopia. The time has come. Every single reactionary, including Paul Bofa. Dude's called Paul Bofa. These nuts indeed. Got tech for the Navy. Get some Air Force tech mayhaps. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to navally invade at some point into Italy. Knights have been indeed removed. And now first all Malta Labour Party Congress where we get to decide the path of our socialist. Hopefully it's Mussolini's path. And I do want ideological loyalty as soon as I humanly can. It's gonna give me manpower. Right now it's mostly factories that we lack, but eventually I'm, I'm hoping we'll get enough factories to actually get the manpower and put it to good use. There we go, futurist, totalist, and the weekly manpower, absolutely beautiful. And for the time being, let's focus on our economy, eh? Direction for the futurist state. I'm not gonna read all of this. I see Mussolini is now lobbying him. I'm Mussolini's top guy. We can appease Mussolini with a position of as our head of government. Or we'll just sort of appeal to him and instate him as head of state. And I'll do just that. Look at him go. Top hat and all. Very socialistic. And change Mussolini's outfit. You know what? I am the true defender of Islam. Let me show <laughs> what the fuck? Uh want a different one, please. It looks goofy as hell. My toddler's uniform, sure. You know what? Yes, I like that. Looking very handsome indeed. I do want the dockyard as well. If I we will also kind of need to build up a navy if we want to do some kind of naval invasion. And the borders look very different for Bulgaria. They didn't have to seize this. Uh, see this rather to the Ottomans. Since the Hellenic Republic didn't join, they didn't get anything. Yeah, it's quite interesting. The Hellenic Republic rarely joins these days, I feel like. I have to go after the Italian unitary boys first. Oh, they don't have... Well, they do have way more units than us. They do have a sizable navy, though. Uh, all of these boys do, but actually the unitary state might be the weakest one out of all. Whilst Malta may have lost its icon of the knights who stood sentinel of the isle, of the isle, this game somehow gained heroes of the proletariat masses on the island. The Red Corsairs. <laughs> What the fuck is this? I love that picture. That is great. We'll get a sixth research slot for some reason. Oh, in here we get to steal. Let's try and raid stuff, huh? Not that we also steal manpower as well as some other goodies. Very nice. Oh, Italy is fighting Italy. That's good for me, I think. But the problem is I'm still stuck in here. I need to become a part of this war somehow without, you know, getting utterly destroyed. All of Rome. But still, I cannot join. There we go. We got our boats. And yeah, we'll, we'll start making some kind of cruisers, right? And here we'll have even more dockyards. I'm very much looking forward to having all that. There's some military factors in here that we can have too. I think I'll go for that too. There's just so much to do. We'll take this, which will give us two military factors. We might even be able to make more than just infantry equipment. Damn, that's insane. Some air defense. 
Land Fort, Coast Fort. Give me all of that, please. Put the dockyards next, because we need more in order to build our gosh darn boats, eh? Let's go in here. We'll even get a seventh research slot. Complete these focuses, eh? What the hell are these garbage borders that they've made? Okay, that's a bit better. Thank you. Still don't know how I feel about them, but like, god damn. Still only have three troops, but that'll change in due time, I think, before we continue. Some artillery in here would be very nice. I don't want to be isolated. I am indeed gonna go for the claims all over the place. There's our fort guy. Still not quite good enough for a full-on naval invasion, but there's only so much we can do. Yeah, add a piece of artillery in there, huh? Oh, we unlocked this focus now. We need to own pieces of Italy. It's gonna be quite difficult if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm gonna save before i declare the war in case everything goes wrong let's see what happens i i don't think this will be very successful but you never know yeah it seems quite unsuccessful let me load up again might be able to do it if i invade from the adjacent tiles oh and the game just crashed so give me a second there we go we're back into the game i feel like the game's been crashing very regularly there we go we'll do this we'll push in hopefully and declare the war and garibaldi must die or you know, give me his territory. I mean, Tuscany and Campania. Mm, I don't think it's doable, sadly. No, I must retreat until I get better tech. More like Marines, probably. That's what I'm gonna go for. If you may now declare war. On which Italy? Uh, an Italy that doesn't seem to exist. On the Kingdom of Italy. But, oh, this one, I guess. Yeah, but why? Huh? Why is it not red? What, what, what in the Vinland saga? I have no enemies bullshit is this. I know Sardinia is declaring war. Everyone's fucking declaring war on each other. As soon as this one is fully trained again, I'll stop exercising. I'm gonna switch targets, I think. Of course, save again. Something's gotta give, man. Come on, boys. I'm gonna make some kind of landing. We did it. We actually did it. Whether or not we get to keep it, that, that you know, remains to be seen. Let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, I can crush them. Quite easily, apparently. We only have 5% of the participation. Understandable, we just got into the war, but you can see we're about to crush him. Come on, crush him. Just a little bit more. I hope these old, all these deaths fall to us. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, because that would have been perfect. Oh, look at all this. Is it now 24,000? Mm, not quite that incredible. There we go. Finally got 13% participation, so that's good at least. Up them off. Keep going. Now look at this lovely tiny little encirclement. Don't let them stop me. There we go. We're actually doing it. Oh, damn it. They're, they're gonna retake body. Understandable. I'm gonna crush them already. That's one down. One left. Because we're barely holding on down here. There we go. Good. This is it. This is it. We can encircle the, do the dudes in the body again. Don't let them escape. Push them through further. We'll eventually have to take Sicily as well, I think. First off, kill off body. Thank you. Keep moving further. Also... Ah, down this unit in here, in here, but tell him also to maybe navally invade, if possible at some point. I don't think it will be anytime soon, because I'm pretty sure they have like a naval dom. But if an opportunity arises, I will take it. Oh, I'm pretty sure they only have these two units left, so if I can walk around them, I might not even need to in invade them navally. I could just take everything I need. Oh, no, they have one more unit. And that kid's going here, as soon as we're able to invade navally. Actually, never mind, they're running away from this tile. So I'll just walk in. I love the AI. It's so smart. You guys, strategically redeploy, please. Pretty sure this is the final unit. Yes, this is their final unit, so we can just walk into Palermo. I'll take all of this. I have player-led peace conferences, because I did all of the work. I do not care what Italy or the Italian Confederation has to say. This is mine. Oh, how incredible. I do love the power of player-led. If they, you know, capitulated themselves, I would have been fine with this, but I pretty much did it all by myself. I cut them off, and then I just walked in. And now I get to core it all. Some anti-air, sure. And maybe a truck. Okay, we cored it all, more or less, I think, right? How do we get rid of the massive southern Italian resistance? Or maybe we don't. There's a thing. Oh, look at our navy, actually. It's pretty sizable these days. I just need a bigger army. I'll be gold. Actually, I could just go after this guy, huh? Depending on how large his navy is. Actually, his navy is tiny. Very close to the naval invasion being ready. There we go. I think I'm gonna go after them now. There should be no potential enemies. Move in, boys. Oh, no. Potential enemies is um, the entire coastline, apparently. Okay, <laughs> let's load up. I don't think they'll be our next fight. I think we'll just have to go through the land war instead. Let's also get... Uh, what's it called? Closer support, maybe? Yes. There we go. Once we have enough factories, that'll... Fill up nice. How big is Giuseppe's army? Uh, much bigger than mine. Okay, so I can't really take them on by myself. Let's see if I can try again, right? This time I'm gonna have a whole 20 stack. Move in and attack into Venice. Full soul prepared. A slight, uh, what's it called? Network. 
spy network. It's getting rid of some of their entrenchments. So 1st of February, I'm pretty much declaring a war. There we go. And I just want to see how uh, doable it is this time. Now that we have a bigger stack moving in, they have hopefully less entrenchment. That's actually going way better. Be more aggressive, my dudes. We might even win this. We're about to win this, at least in one of the tiles. There we go. Yeah, I think we're, we're landing. We did lose like three units or so. Very cool. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Oh, damn. We ended up losing four dudes. That's okay. It's very reasonable. Moved into Verona. Okay, I guess they're, they've retaken Verona. We'll, we'll let them keep it for now. Boy, an Air Force. I... I don't think that'll be enough, as you can see. That's okay. There'll be a nice little stopgap. I played into 1947 in this Malta campaign. I might be noticing this is a bit different than um, like 10 seconds ago, the, the date. That is because about four hours of footage turned out to be lost. For some reason, OBS decided to go, you know what? Hey, that microphone you got connected, how about I just forget it exists? And so I had no audio. So here I am, take two. At least it's gonna be a bit easier this time. I don't remember exactly how far I got. I think I did already get the of this land, and I was about to declare war on the Confederation. So that's good at least. But we made a better time now. Even without Air Force, we, we we still need a sizable Air Force to be honest, which we don't have. We don't have manpower either. God damn, man. But yeah, and also another thing. The people seem to be revolting against me in the comment section. A while ago, someone asked me to oil up or play sick him. I motherfucking played sick him. And now these boys are asking me to oil up or do a world conquest as Jabal Shamar. Should I negotiate with these terrorists? Should I entertain them? Tell you what, if this becomes my full-time job, I'm about 10% of the way for that. If this becomes my full-time job, I will unironically play an oil oiled up for game. I'll have a little um, body facing webcam. You can see my muscles twitch and rip around all oiled up while I play a session of uh, Hoi 4. How does that sound, huh? And I, dude, if, if we somehow get to that point, I will unironically do it. You may quote me on that. But until then, I will not be oiling up. Although I do have to say my, uh, my, uh, <clears throat> A roommate did buy like five different kinds of oils not even not even like because I, I told her about it she just like happened to have bought it no no there's like a bunch of oil in my uh, apartment so uh you know <laughs> you know my demands if you want me to oil up you better fucking subscribe god damn it uh oh they're gonna justify on us you know what no fuck you I'm not letting you justify on me I'm justifying on you perish gutty baldy you are indeed a baldy could I theoretically push in no I cannot because I actually need an Air Force for that. It's actually going a lot easier than I thought. I'm, I'm guessing it's because it's just my shitty Air, Air Force versus their shitty Air Force. And I think mine is winning handedly. Look at this one. 1,400 capacity for our Air Force. Just take Turin and then it'll be over, man. Oh, we got it. Italy at this point is now completely under our control. Alright, 1941. In my previous playthrough, I think I was just like getting started fighting the Confederacy in 41. So it's a good sign. I also need like a lot more units though. At least a full 24 stack. I wish my capital would move to Rome or something. Oh, there we go. Moves capital to Latium. That's actually exactly what I want. And I'm thinking also if that's going to be the case. It might be time for us to instead go after the Austrians. And while I'm waiting for my focuses to complete more or less, I'm just going to start up maybe get a collab government on uh, the austrians and we can you know what no kill don't do not kill the pope we will put the pope in a museum where he belongs uh oh is russia about to fall i think it will be but now with a scripted peace deal i'm guessing yep just completely annexed oh and mongolia they're, they're, they're fighting each other too interesting we finally got rome as our capital and we even have manpower is that not incredible and there we go a 24 stack which i will be using to guard my coastline as well because i'm pretty sure also will have the superior navy and in here push for italy's rightful lands we basically get cores all over the place and we will literally restore rome but a socialist rome on iran is fighting the entente but no periodia is fighting them as well so iran might actually stand a chance we've already annexed azerbaijan usually that doesn't happen so who knows what's gonna happen? No, of course, we will go for all of our claims, goddammit. And utilize the red and gold of old Rome. Since we're cosplaying as Rome, obviously, shall partake in the traditions of Rome. And now, time to declare for the Roman Empire. Actually, before they really realize what's going on, how about I just go and move in on them? They seem to be attacking us. I'll, I'll just leave that be for now. 
I'll let them grind up against us until they're tired. And eventually they'll be too tired to really put up a fight, hopefully, right? We've waited around and look at that. We killed pretty much a million people in the Austrian Empire. I think it's time for us to push in. Come on, get these boys in circle, please. We just walk around them. Fucking take Vienna. And with that, just take literally everything else too. Why not? And steal their bolts, of course. Very important. Man, this shit is separate. That was no longer part of the Donau Adria Bunt, I guess. So steal this too, please. I'm gonna claim more Horthy, please, while we're in here. Because we don't have a claim on him. Oh, we have claims. We don't have a CB. Thank you. More core territory. Because I'm pretty sure this is all cores too. Wait, who's... Oh, the Comet of France. You ain't getting that. This is all mine. Let's get more units out on the field. Before we go after Germany. Wait, why the fuck is my capital in here again? Get back to Rome. That is something actually that happened last time too. I don't, I don't know why. Let's see if I can find a way to change it back with console commands or something. There you go. Another beautiful 120 stack. Just promote a bunch of people that we can. Doesn't matter how good or bad they are. Just want people on the field, goddammit. Be aggressive with these units. Right? And uh, let's, let's, let's go, I think, right? Yeah. Let's go. Kill off the Germans. Calling literally everyone and their grandma in. That's okay, as you can see, we're, we're pushing in just fine. Okay, and, and the Balkans, it's not as doable to push in. And that's okay, I don't want to push in there just yet. I want to deal with Germany first, and then we'll take care of everything else. Well, they're actually attacking us, but luckily, it's pretty much green bubbles everywhere. I mean, all things considered, <laughs> they don't stand a chance, what the hell? All the Swiss are dead, very nice. Just need to clean them up, and there we go. Berlin, here we come. Oh, never mind, they, they blocked us off. No worry, we'll get them eventually. Look at that, we're so close to Berlin now. One tile away. We can do it. Berlin has officially fallen too. The Reichspact is collapsing. It's it's over. We've won. That was way easier than I expected. We get everything, hopefully. Okay, everything except for this tiny little sliver of land, apparently. And now we don't have enough PP or vic victory points, I guess, to get their navy. That sucks. At least we get landers, I guess. So that's cute. That ain't much, but... Yeah, it's, it's just, it's not much. And now, clean up Poland too. And with that, we can also, mayhaps, clean up the Balkans. There we go. Poland has been taken. I'll take it all, man. It's all mine. Oh, it's only Bulgaria and Greece left. Okay, then we can focus on the Ottomans, blah, blah, blah. All the good stuff. And we, we're at war with the Entente now? What? Are you kidding me? Just because you're losing, you're joining the Entente. You fucking asshole. All right, I guess we're fighting the Entente now. What a dick move, man. Well, at least Bulgaria is dead. And next up, I'll just go into the Ottomans, man. Oh, Greece is dead finally good next target right oh russian empire restored under ungern von Steinberg. okay interesting and uh, the yellow mongolia of course that makes complete sense okay let's um <clears throat> declare war on this motherfucker eh Oof, look at the damage that we're doing with our airplanes that is insane take constantinople god damn it it is my birthright didn't you see the Rome in my name? Mussolini is competent in this universe, okay? But only when he doesn't play as uh, Italy. He has to play as someone else, as like Malta. Because that makes complete sense. Oh, there we go. We've crossed. We've crossed. Time to get the rest. And then uh, pretty much the next step will be to go through the Cairo Pact. And then to the national state of France. You know how it goes. It do be like that. The Greeks keep being an annoyance. Could you get the hell out of here, please? Thank you. This is my land. There go the Ottomans. We even steal their name. Yeah, this is going way better than the first time. We had to... I had to invade Japan, by the way. I had to walk into Russia, into China, into Japan. It was basically a world conquest. It was horrible. All right. I think we're more or less ready. Let's go for the next one. Oh, we don't have a claim on them. God damn. Do it manually. Do we have one on uh, Georgia? No, we don't. Because I think, yeah, there's also... Some cores in there that we can take. At least let's go to Fiumi and maybe a claim on the Commune of France too, huh? While we're in here. There we go, that's Istria already. Uh, Fiumi rather. Dead. Thank you for that. Oh, we can't take their entire air navy. All right, we'll take a couple of them, I guess. That'll be fine. Cancel our military access, please. And thank you. We got one on Nice already, but not one on... Uh, well, we're happy. We'll get there eventually. What do you mean we have divisions in their territory? Where? Where? <clears throat> They're still trying to walk in, pretty much. And, uh, let's, uh, yeah. Go after them, huh? This shouldn't be too difficult. Most because I have nothing else to do while I'm waiting on the claim on Syria. Oh, of course. Take care of Luxembourg, please. Can't forget about them. Even though they are so forgettable. Oh, and there's our claim on uh, Syria. Let's deal with the Cairo pack. Boom. We're just walking in everywhere. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, we don't care about the peace deal with uh, Bariatia. I'm not gonna lie. And, and Delhi, because we didn't really participate in that. Paris fell, at least. So France is most likely not that far away from dying. Let's get a claim on Wallonia as well, because that's also coarse. France is dead. So is Syria. Nice. Now, please continue on, though. 
killing everyone indiscriminately. This Egypt's almost dealt with. Now we're moving into Egypt proper. We're just waltzing in at this point. Everywhere we can. We'll get our claim on Iraq too. As soon as we're done with Egypt, we're going to go for Iraq and then probably for Iran too. So they also have cores of, uh, of ours. Oh, thank God. Egypt is done. And then we'll also deal with uh, nationalist friends. That'll be nice. Which actually shouldn't take that long, to be honest. In the meantime, Iraq, goodbye. Oh, what the hell? When did this happen? Let's clean that up, I guess. Iraq, also dead. I saw Muscat was also in here. But it seems that, uh, yeah, Yemen is pretty much dealing with them just fine. Let's go deal with uh, Iran in the meantime, huh? As soon as our claim is done, next up will be Wallonia, and then we'll deal with Spain and Portugal. Shouldn't be too difficult. Here we go. I'll keep Arabia. I don't care. Wallonia has been annexed too. Perfect. And uh, you boys, to Spain, please. This is gonna be like overstacked as all hell, man. That's okay. Crush them. True shield states. No, we'll, we'll keep all of this, man. Same with the jazz. Why not? I'll keep eroding, I guess, French legitimacy for some silly reason. Oh, Madrid fell. Okay. But I want the rest to fall too. Oh, there. Just as I was saying. Thank you. That's a very understandable of you. Now just Portugal and France. And then we'll have pretty much all of our core territory, no? Come on, just get Algiers, please. We get our claim on our good friend Iran. Japan declared war on me. What the hell? I ain't fighting that. Though. I've I've had to do the whole world conquest thing once. I'm not doing it again. They can have whatever colony that they want in here in uh, Southeast Asia. I do not care. Oh, French nationalist state is dead. Peace treaty with Canada. Oh yes. What the hell? Okay, so that's the new peace treaty. For some reason, Greece exists. Good enough for me at this point. We got like eight million manpower in the field, uh, in reserve rather. Got most of our course. We could. I guess fight the Entente again, but why bother? At this point, I played this campaign twice for over 10 years. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm in, in real life hours, I've, I've had like seven hours, a whole working day almost of this one video. I'm gonna earn like five bucks off of it. Just, just saying, <laughs> just to give you an idea. But I think this is it. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you did. Hopefully I'll see you next time and uh, hopefully you have a nice day. Bye-bye.